Hello and welcome to another soundproofing video. Today I'm super excited because I'm gonna teach you a new way to build a soundproof door that is filled with sand. This door is also completely custom made from scratch, so I'm gonna teach you how to do that. I will say as a disclaimer that I learned how to do this from J.H. Brandt, who is an acoustic designer and someone who is well-respected in his field, so I must say that these ideas are not solely my own, uh, and I'm borrowing some of his materials materials from his PDF and if you want to reach out to him and get some more information on his own door designs I have his website below in the description at jhbrant.net. All right with that said I want to say that I do have a free soundproofing workshop that will help you design and build your entire home studio. Uh, if you are interested in building a soundproof room or studio, then this workshop is definitely for you. It's 45 minutes of in-depth teaching. You can go to soundproofyourstudio.com and start learning right away. All right, let's jump into the video on how to build a soundproof sand-filled door. <laughs> All right, so I wanna start by saying the materials that you'll need so you can kind of gather some of these materials up and make sure you have everything for the job. So you're gonna need three to five bags of sand and ideally the sand will be as dry as possible. You're gonna need a ton of wood glue to keep this whole process clean and without too many cracks in the wood. Uh, I think J.H. Brandt is using wood glue instead of screws. You could use a combination of glue and screws if you wanted, but uh, he is doing this entirely with glue. You will then need two pieces of quarter inch or three eighths inch plywood. Make sure that the pieces of plywood are at least big enough to cover your entryway with your door. Then you will need two sheets of plywood hardwood veneer just to make your door look a little bit nicer and you can lay that on top on both the front and back of your door with the finished product. Lastly, you will need three to five seven foot two by four studs to create the frame of your door itself. And that's pretty much it. So not too much um, materials and then you can go ahead and start building the door. So let's jump into how to actually build this door. So first thing you want to do is cut all of your two by fours in half lengthwise. And the reason for this is you don't want your door to be so thick like a normal two by four. So in this design, it's going to be a little bit thinner like a normal size door. And that will give you a door that is one and a half inches by 1.75 inches. The reason for that is that two by fours are actually never actually two inches by four inches. They're nominal uh, width and length is usually about 1.5 by 3.75. All right, so once you have cut all the two by fours uh, straight down the middle, then you can begin developing your frame. So we're gonna start with by cutting out one piece of your plywood, and you want this to be the size of your door frame minus an eighth of an inch or three millimeters on all four sides. So we're gonna leave a little bit of a gap around your door so that it can fit into the door frame and still fit snug and you'll be able to seal up all around it, but this way you'll ensure that your door is exactly the right size. So cut out that piece of plywood to whatever size your door frame is, leaving that 1 8 inch or three millimeter space around all four sides. Next, you're going to glue the two by fours that you have cut lengthwise around all four corners of your plywood and create cross braces as you can see here in this picture from J.H. Brandt. Again, giving him full credit for this picture. Go to jhbrandt.net if you want to learn more about his services. And you're going to also, from 36 inches up from the bottom, you wanna create three two by fours sandwiched together across the middle. This will act as the bracing for your lock set, so you're gonna be able to actually drill in and create your lock set for your door um, when you finally get to that point in the construction phase. So make sure to do that so that you have something to actually connect your lock set to. You wanna make sure that all the wood on your boards on the back of those two by fours that you have cut down lengthwise, make sure that they're all flat and level because you want your door to be obviously as level and square as possible. So as you're doing this, make sure to measure two, three times, cut once, that's always a good rule of thumb, to make sure that your corners are square and make sure that the entire back of your door is flat before you put on the final plywood and the sand. 
Now that you've got your door frame built, you can pour in the dry sand into all of the spaces that you've created in your door. As you can see again, this picture here shows the sand and you just wanna make sure that you level off the sand as cleanly as possible. And then we will add the plywood, the next set of plywood cut out to the same exact dimensions as the first one. And you can glue and staple that to your door frame. Lastly, you will glue on the veneer hardwood plywood that you have to make sure that the door looks finished and nice. And then you can stain the door if you like, paint the door, do whatever you like with it. But this way you'll have a nice finished looking door that is also very heavy. So that is the general design. It's nothing too crazy. When you're getting to hang the door, remember this can be very heavy. You're gonna need multiple people to lift it. You wanna use at least six hinges because these doors are so heavy. So I'll have more videos about how to hang the door, how to design your door frame. All those things will go more in depth. You can always search the channel for soundproof doors as well. I've already made plenty of videos on building soundproof doors and several different methods of how to do that. So I hope you have enjoyed this short little video on how to create a sand filled soundproof door from scratch. If you have enjoyed this, definitely check out that soundproofing workshop at soundproofyourstudio.com where you can jump in and start watching it right away and get an entire plan of how to build your soundproof studio. Again, thanks so much to J.H. Brandt for sharing his knowledge. And if you want to talk to him, you can go down and check out his website at jhbrandt.net. I just want to give him a big shout out for all of his useful knowledge, which has been really incredible. All right. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all next week. Same time, same place. More soundproofing and acoustic knowledge coming your way.